Once every four years, the greatest athletes in the world compete in the Olympics. About every 75 years, Haley's Comet flies by Earth. And besides we the people, the U.S. Constitution says that um, every 10 years, every person in the United States of America must be counted. Just like a teacher takes attendance, Mecklenburg County Manager Dina DiOrio says the census is the government's way of also taking attendance of every person living in the United States. And we are really getting geared up now that we're in March to really push this out in a big way. And we're just going to work really hard um, and try to make everybody aware of why it's important and why people should fill it out. Most households received invitations to complete the census in mid-March. And for the first time, it can be done online. The Oreo says households can also participate by phone or by mail. In May, census enumerators will visit those addresses that have not completed the form. So why should people even complete the census? Well, to answer that question, let's take a look at three letters, F, P, and R. But we're gonna start with F, and that stands for funding. In one year, North Carolina received almost $24 billion in federal spending programs guided by the census. That is $2,000 per resident per year. Even educating our children is dependent on the census. In one year, North Carolina received more than $2.3 billion for programs for students in pre-K through college. All right, let's take a look at P. That's for planning. Our healthcare system uses data from the census to determine where to build things like urgent care centers. Schools and grocery stores also use data from the census to determine where they'll locate. And even our bus system used data from the census to redesign its bus route to make transportation more accessible to where people live. And finally, the letter R. That stands for representation. The number of seats we have in the House of Representatives is also based on the census. Right now we have 13 seats, but we could gain additional seats if this 2020 census count is complete. To make sure the count is as complete as possible, Mecklenburg County has been holding census speaker boot camps to educate volunteers like Brent Jones. One of the things that I like to do is uh, be a resource for other churches and faith communities in the area. Jones works for Stonebridge Church Community as a director of service and outreach. The meeting taught him that the census is critical, especially for communities in desperate need of federal financial assistance. Uh, I heard in the presentation today that businesses also determine where to locate based on accurate census data. And so food deserts are a big concern in the areas that we work. Food deserts are areas that don't have access to fresh food and instead may depend on unhealthy food from a corner store. These areas often also need funding for education and even transportation. When residents complete the census, they're helping the community get money for those services and necessities. We want to make sure everybody's counted so that everything that we are supposed to be allotted is received. Raymond Hunt says you can count on him to spread the word about the importance of the census in his community. So I want to represent, you know, this community as best as possible. It's low income. Pastor Hunt leads Moore's Sanctuary AME Zion Church in West Charlotte. The church is historic and has been a pillar of the area for 150 years. So it's important that this church stay involved with the pulse of the city. And if we're going to do that, we have to be counted. Pastor Hunt says the greatest obstacle he sees to people not willing to be counted is fear and mistrust of the government. I can do whatever I can to relieve the fears of those individuals who think they are going to give up something um, and let them know that what you have to give up is your presence. Diorio believes fear should not be a factor. She says the questionnaire is easy and only asks a few questions, including your name, age, ethnicity, and the number of people who live in your house. And just as important as what it does ask is what it doesn't. They'll never ask for your social security number or any kind of personal, personal uh, identifying information, so people shouldn't be worried about having to disclose that. And information cannot be shared for 72 years until 2092. DiOrio says as Mecklenburg County Manager, filling out her questionnaire is a professional obligation and a personal one too. I want to make sure as a taxpayer myself that all the federal dollars that we're entitled to in this community come to this community. The message, everyone should be counted because everyone counts. For Carolina Impact, I'm Todd Wallace reporting.